Don't be mad at me because your is like a with a little bit of curve in it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be yeah. mad at me. I'm a, hey, what have I done? Oh, forgive me. Y'all didn't hear that. I'm so not sorry. Fuck him. <laughs> hey, I'm with that. Fuck him. I got a cookie. Hey, 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 hey. Baby, you got to do what honor you. I mean, I'm bad as fuck. She was honest, though. She never squirted before. Who need to call me and talk to me? Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Gates. This is my best friend, OG Booby Black. And right now you're tuned into the Kevin Gates Helpline. And we're going to be taking calls from people all over the world. And we're going to be helping them solve some of life's issues. Stay tuned, because you might be going through some of the same things that these callers are going through. Who we got on the line, boo? Let me check my book, man, see what's going on in here. You heard me? Got a lot of things popping in here. We got Dre on the line from Washington, D.C. Hey, how y'all doing? What's going on? You from D.C.? Yes. I hope you're having a vibrant day. I love D.C. What's your question, though? I'm 31 years old and I've been in a relationship for about three or four years. But her family, you know, is, is, is really not with the LGB, you know, thing. I'm not the type of person to mess up a family dynamic. Family Can I be structure. honest with you? Yeah. Who you in a relationship with, your partner or, they, or the family? My partner. Fuck them. Fuck them. Don't worry about nothing because fuck if you em. if you worry about anything else, it gets fuck them. Hey, fuck them with one of them things. What I got, what I'm playing with, you know, a big long dick. I'm not in a relationship with your family. I'm in a relationship with you, baby. So right. if you want to take it to the next level, we can go be great together. Or and if you want to stay in a relationship with your family, baby, hey, go be hey, with I them. love you, but blessings on your journey. Hey, I respect y'all, but at the end of the day, fuck them, cause I can't live my life and make myself miserable to make another motherfucker happy. Right. And forgive my French. Fuck them. Hey, I understand, ma. When there's love involved, like real love involved, when you in love, I don't care what my mama say about what woman I'm with. I don't lay in the bed with my mama. OK. I lay in the bed with my woman. Right. Their family structure is I understand. so strong, I though. Man, I never want hey, to Hey, that's cool. That. Come and bend that ass over. I'm about to break the structure. Because every woman I ever been romantically involved with, they daddies hate me. They mamas love me. You know why? Because when they daddies saw me, they saw something that they know they couldn't fuck with. They saw something that they didn't have the nuts to be. Yeah. You really projecting how you feel about yourself and your fears onto me. But I don't even receive that because you just projecting. How my mama tell me, man, it don't matter what nobody say about you. Fuck them. It was at the end of the day, baby, you still got a big dick. I ain't worried about who family don't care about me being with their daughter. Because guess what? When I'm in this bitch punishing her, she not thinking about y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. At all. True fact. When I'm in her stomach, she yeah. is not thinking about y'all. Hey, mo, I hear that. Like I say, baby, you got to do what honor you. People don't look at you for the good you do or the, or the great things you made happen in most times. They only look at you for the wrong things or the bad things you did for one day or that two. the day. world like the judge, you You know what I'm saying? And it ain't good. Just continue doing what you're doing, love. Yes, Lord. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, I'm, I appreciate I'm you. We appreciate very you. I'm happy and humble right now. Like, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm trying to be chill. Thank you for your advice and definitely taking your time to speak with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. You are blessed. blessed on your journey, love. Continue doing what you're doing. That. Thank y'all. You so ain't much. doing that wrong. Just don't forget. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> hey, I'm with that. Fuck them. She had got me on my top. I already know you was about to go there. Because yes. I had been, I had been through that. Me too. Everybody who I fuck with, they family got something that one arm. This, this, but they be happy fucking with me. It be the family throw the cross and the family do all this old whole ass shit. Let it talk. I'm talking about big old monkey wrench. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's all good. You heard me? She gonna do her thing. You heard me? Shorty gonna always be with her because yeah, she like what she fucking with. Right. The real shit was you said. When you putting it down, they ain't thinking about no family. They ain't thinking about no family. You know how I know that? Because they tell me all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck me harder. How you think about family telling that motherfucker to fuck you harder? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Lord. Indeed. Yes, Lord. Can 
can I use the restroom right quick? Hey, can I wear a black sweater tomorrow with white stars all over it? I just know when they see that bitch, they're gonna want one. I got it from Zara. Really? Yeah, I fuck with Zara. I'm OG, so you know, I'm always, you know, on some other shit. I love Zara. Who else we got on the line? Oh man, we got Nia from Minnesota. What up, Nia? You on the phone with Kevin Gates and OG Booby Black? Yes, indeed. So tell us what's going on, Nia. So this is a situation. So I'm currently in a wheelchair, but I'm a very vocal person and bold person. Always have, always will be. See something I like, I approach it. I can be in the mall. I can see somebody walk past, okay, he handsome, you know? But men think it's a joke, like, uh, am I getting punked? No. I think you're handsome. What's up? What to do? So my... Question to you is, what can I do to get them to know that, okay, I'm not being funny. You know, I like what I see. Say, Nia, I respect your truth. I respect your confidence, and I definitely respect your courage because a lot of women don't speak on things that's really going on with them for as a physical matter, for as you being in a wheelchair, you know what I'm saying? Me, myself, I lost a limb. I got my right arm going, but you can't tell me a nigga in the world that could fuck with me. I mean, I'm bad as fuck. The government say I'm handicapped, but I don't know what the fuck they talking about. That's what's up. Can I be honest with you? I want you to be honest. Like all the way honest with you? You can be straight up honest. Man, I don't, I can't believe I'm about to say this on the thing. Oh. <laughs> but I got to live in my truth. I've dealt with a woman in a wheelchair before. Well, that's what's up. You want me to tell you something? I want you to be honest with me. Don't play no say, no nothing. Yes, ma'am, I'm be honest with you. Like, I used to put on her back and put my hands up under her <laughs> knees like the flex and yeah. just eat her pussy. Oh, yeah. You picked her up out the wheelchair? I had to every time. I done picked up and fucked in hell. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> you look at yourself in the mirror. Look at all this hanging up out you, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I done done it. <laughs> she was telling me that all women are not squirters. And I was like, yes, they are. And I was like, every woman can have an orgasm from any cavity in their body. And I was showing her how you could have an eargasm from your ears. I was showing her, like, just playing in her ears. Like, I was showing her how you could come out of your ears. Like, people gonna think I'm weird when I say this. And, you know, I end up eventually making her come out of her throat. That's what's up. I showed her how to <laughs> stick your tongue out and let it go all the way, because my shit kind of curved up like an uppercut. <laughs> <laughs> Made her have orgasms out of her you throat. Yeah, I got that hook. She was honest, though. She never squirted before. Prior to a real Dixman. Yeah, sometimes it's good to learn these things so you'll know them. Right over there from England. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm a Dixman. Yeah. And I used to bust her ass. <laughs> I never told nobody this, though. Well, people don't live in their truth, either. I'm a very beautiful, intelligent woman. So I just want people to step out the box. Then I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm handicapped in a good way. <laughs> yes, Lord. Captain Hook. Captain Hook. C Captain Hook, girl. Y'all already, already know what it is, yeah. And you got that hook, that's word. I say like, Captain Hook. Oh, man. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and it was, it was nice talking to you. We loved Thank your you conversation. Guys. The conversation definitely brought a smile on both our faces. Thank you guys, have a good night. All right. Bye-bye. Wow! Oh, girl, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, she wild, man. No. Man, you have some people in life will not speak on things, but it takes a situation to make them speak on things. Really? And the Kevin Gates I never thought line, about that, though. They be themselves with you, bro. I was reading this book called Healing Through Colors, and whatever you're going through emotionally, that's what color you're going to be attracted to. I'm gonna tell you what I've been and attracted to, to to a lot. That's pink, real shit. They had a pink and white sweater in Zara the other day. Man, look, they didn't have my size. I wanted them in the small. They didn't have it. So, Boo Boo, who we got on the line right now? Devazio from South Carolina. Hello. Yeah, what's happening, baby? Devazio in the building. Hey, I just want to start. I said, hey, I want to express gratitude, man, because we can be anywhere, but I'm on the phone with y'all, so I appreciate it. Likewise, hey, yes, likewise. Sir. So this is my question, Gage and Booby. Um, I need advice on parenting when I'm feeling like I'm not being heard as a father, when I'm trying to parent to my son or do things that I, I think he should know at this age. 
the mother of my son, she doesn't hear me or she doesn't understand where I'm coming from. And it's just like, it just all goes out the window. Mm. So I just wanted to see what you guys kind of think about that. Does she back your play? Like, does she support the things that you implement as a parent? I don't feel like it, no, sir. To me, Gaze, they come off more as like what she say go, and then kind of the things that I would like to implement is just kind of like whatever. I hate to say this, that's that's kind of productive to the child because it's like you're teaching the children to have a lack of respect for a father that is trying. Right. Because there's so many deadbeat dads out there that's not even trying to provide and be there for their children. And I could say this, you never know what type of situations she been through or past traumas and old behavior patterns that she might be clinging on to. And the resentment may not be toward you, it may be toward herself. Because I know when I used to get upset with myself, I would project it on the other people. Yes, sir. And children see and feel everything. And that's my biggest thing, Gage, man. I just don't want that to come between me and my son because sometimes it's just like I just want to just let her do the parenting and then I just be here. And I don't think that, like you say, that ain't productive to anybody in the party. It's and, not. And, and I'll be the first to say I'm not I'm not perfect. I have my flaws. But when it comes to parenting, I want to be the best father that I can be because I know how it feels to not have it. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, sir. And, and she does a great job when it comes to my son. You know, hands down. I don't want to, you know. Yeah, we not here to bash nobody. We here to uplift. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. That's like. I was having like some issues similar to that, but it's because me and the mother of my children, the things that we would implement in our house together, they would go to their grandmother's house and it would be something totally different. Especially like even with my faith and their grandmothers being a different faith and the holidays that she allowed them to celebrate and things like that. I mean, it's just different. But outside of those differences, I always try to implement that love factor. So it's like, as a partner, baby, I love you, but I need you to back my plate. And that's the thing. We in two different households, okay? So, of course, you know, she run her house how she run it, and then I do it how I do it. Bro. Yeah, that's, 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 that's difficult. I notice that all of my children, really, they implement the things that they see me do. So I notice I just start being that message that I bear and being that message and being that example. No matter what your mama say or no matter what anybody say, I'm just going to be that example. I never speak bad about my children's mother or anything like that. And I noticed that it's been beautiful. It's trying. I mean, don't get it twisted. It's, it's been very, very trying. Definitely. But they smart. They so smart that they going to cling on to the truth. Stay in your kid's life, man. Continue doing what you're doing. You know, never let up. And then another thing, what other people eat don't make you shit. Believe that. What other people say, it don't make your way neither. You do your own thing. Yes, yes, indeed. Sir. Stay with them kids, man. Stay doing your thing, man. You know what I'm saying? We glad you called in. You know what I'm saying? And um, stay focused on what you're doing. Hey, I appreciate y'all for taking the call, man. And we yes, sir. appreciate you more, man. Yes, sir. All right, y'all have a good one. All right, well. The visor, you're putting a lot of pressure on himself. I think he's a good father, and he take care of his kids. Yeah. But you see his baby mama, she the one that land up there trying to bring him. Now, that situation I, happened. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say that because I don't know the full scope of the situation. Yeah. And it's easy to point the finger and put somebody else down. And I'm into uplifting people now. Mm. So I just say this, it's gonna take communication. But what if she don't wanna communicate with him? That's from a sense of being hurt. Yeah, that's I done had that situation. That's unresolved issues dealing with herself. Yeah. Whatever resentment that you harbor, Please don't take it out on me and don't project Please it don't onto my it children. On me. Yeah. Because I'm not your enemy. I want to thank you for watching the Kevin Gates Helpline. This is Kevin Gates. This is my best friend, OG Boogie Black. And let me leave you with this. Sometimes your biggest disadvantage could be your biggest advantage. Facts. Every day I tell myself, John, got to quit drinking. <laughs> Good thing my name's not John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but forgive me, I'll be talking to myself. I crack myself up.